So guys, finally we have access of Tiny11 version 25H2 and I can say Tiny11 is like a stripped down version of Windows 11 for a low end system. If you have a processor with a speed of 1 GHz and 2 GB of RAM, this Tiny11 is going to work smoothly on your system and the best part, most of the programs and features which is in Windows 11 version 25H2 are also available in this Tiny11 version 25H2. It is the latest version of Windows 11, which is modified to run on low-end hardware machines. Machines without TPM, secure boot, and Intel 8th generation processor, which is the most important thing if you want your system to run Windows 11 version 25H2. So guys, in this video, I will show you the complete process on how to install Tiny11 version 25H2 and where you can download it. Okay, so you need to check this video where I demonstrated how to download Tiny11 version 25H2. Once your ISO is downloaded, go over and download Rufus 2 and make sure to run it as administrator. And now plug in your USB drive and make sure to back up any data on that drive because creating a USB bootable media will erase everything on that particular drive. Select the USB drive, click the select button and select the tiny 11 version 25 each ISO file and then click on the open button. And now here's the most important step. The partition scheme. If you want to check your partition scheme, right click on your Windows icon and select this management. Now we have to right click on the drive you will be installing the Windows on. In this case, I will right click on my C drive, which is disk 0, and then click on properties. Select the volume tab, and you are going to see your partition star written there. You can see clearly mine is GPT. So I'll go back to the Rufus 2 and select GPT as my partition scheme and then click on the start button. So guys, if you are installing Tiny11 on an unsupported hardware, make sure to check these options. Just click the OK button. Confirm that everything on that USB drive is going to be deleted and click OK. And now the Rufus 2 will proceed to create the bootable USB that you can use to install Tiny11 version 25H2 on your computer. Now restart your machine and press F2, F12 or Escape depending on your PC to access the boot menu, mostly. Dell and HP laptops use the F12, whilst ASOS and other PC brands use the escape key. Once you are in the boot menu, select your USB drive. This is going to open up the Tiny11 setup. Select your language and time format and then click on next. Enter a genuine product key if you have some. If you don't have some, just click on I don't have a product key and then click on next. Accept the line systems and continue. Select the disk you want to install your Tiny11 and click on Next. You can see right now it says Installing Windows. Just wait for it to finish. You can see we have successfully installed Tiny11 version 25H2, which exactly looks like Windows 11 25H2. And now if I open the File Explorer, and click on properties. You can see it is using 12.2 GB of storage space. The performance of Tiny11 is very smooth because it is taking 2 GB of RAM. So if you have 4 GB or 2 GB RAM in your system, it will run perfectly fine on it. If I check the CPU, we can see it is using 0 to 7% utilization and the process count is around 1 to 6. And now if I search for Inver, you can see the Tiny11 version 25H2 with build number 26200. And if I right click on my Windows icon and select system, you can see it is actually a stripped version of Windows 11 25H2 with no Bluetooth. If I search for Microsoft Edge, I'm not going to see it. You can install Microsoft Edge by running this command in PowerShell or you can insert your pen drive with a web browser on it and install. So that's how you can download and install Tiny11 version 25H2 on your machine. Guys, if this video was of any value to you, please give it a like. If you want to support this channel, you can consider subscribing and sharing the video. Thanks for watching.